Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, go ahead and press the subscribe button, click the bell icon for more sneaker related content. Especially if you like videos like these, I'm always trying to reinvent new ways to bring out different types of content and review uh, more and more shoes. But today, I'm doing another sneaker collection video. If y'all remember from my previous one, I think I did the last one in 2022, not 2024. So it's been about a year and a half since I actually filmed that video in my parents' home. Uh, since then, I moved twice. So y'all see me in a whole new setup than y'all did in the previous video. Um, and I don't have anything hung up yet. So y'all just bear with me again. I know, I'm sorry. I got a lot of exciting shoes to show y'all. I got them all pulled out over there in the corner. I'm not even gonna waste no more time on the intro. Let's get right on into it. Oh, and before we start, uh, disclaimer for y'all that have seen the other video. I have sold a few pairs of shoes from my collection in the previous video. So if y'all watch the other one or go rewatch the other one and then you watch this one and you see some few shoes missing, because I have sold them and I do like to keep a realistic amount of shoes that I can actually wear. And even with the amount that I have now, uh, some shoes don't get worn very often, if any at all. But let's get right into it. I'm gonna start it off with something simple. Uh, first up, we got the Nike Dunk Low Premium. I think this is the 2022 or 2020, no, this is 2022 uh, Halloween edition dunks. And I don't know, there's something about these. When I first seen the pictures, they kind of remind me of like a ghost. So I think that's why I really mess with them. And then the back of it is also reflective so if you shine the light on it you might even see it on camera i won't be able to tell until i edit but the back of it is reflective so you'll see it like a shadow blowing up like a shadow on the wall basically and it's got like this like this cracked material on it which is really nice with the green neon green insides and the uh recycled green sole give it kind of that little Halloween vibe. Keeping up with the Halloween vibes, I have another Halloween dunk. This one is probably my one of my all-time favorite dunks that I actually own. And this one is special. This is the 2021 version of the 2022 ones I just showed. But as you can see off bat, this one already kind of has more of a Halloween vibe to it. And if y'all actually, those of you who actually know what's so special about these shoes is you can see very faintly, it's got like eyes and all these other little patterns on the back and on this black part and it all glows in the dark with the glow in the dark sole on the bottom. Yes, they are dirty. I wear my shoes. Uh, I'm gonna try and get some footage to show y'all what these look like. Whenever I wear these, I actually get a, a, a lot of compliments when they are glowing. I think it's just really cool and something you don't see too much on shoes nowadays. Switching over to a Jordan 1, and it's probably one of my favorite Jordan 1, is the Taxi Jordan 1 Highs. I really love this shoe. I really love the yellow on the shoe, even though people are pretty iffy when it comes to yellow. And it's kind of hard to tell what the exact color of the yellow will be when you uh, when you're looking at the pictures online before they drop, but I mean I, I think they really they really did their thing with this one. I like the black and then the yellow toe as well. I feel like that really keeps it more so noticeable, but it's also subtle at the same time, so it doesn't clash with too many fits. But yeah, y'all y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all yeah, let me know what y'all think. Uh, whatever shoe y'all think is. Y'all favorite one or the best one out of the collection, y'all drop it down below in the comments. Moving right along into a Jordan 4. Uh, some of you may already know this is the Jordan 4 Infrared, but those of you who don't, you know now. Uh, this shoe, for me, is one that I will always keep in mint condition. I mean, it's still buttery soft with that new buck. I like the two tones with the grays and then down to the white then back to the gray on the midsole or the, the, the sole. And this one, 
you just can't go wrong with the infrared colorway on really any Jordan. And I mean, I keep all my shoes clean, but like even y'all looking at it don't look like anybody put the shoe on. I mean, obviously you can tell it's been worn on the bottom, but for me, this one is a classic and I really enjoy the materials on this one. Another fun fact about the shoe is, I think these had just came out like the same week I filmed my first sneaker collection video. So that's just letting y'all know how long I didn't actually had these shoes and they still look fresh out of the box. This next shoe is a shoe that I have deemed a collector's item. I no longer wear this shoe just because I feel like you don't see it anywhere and not a lot of people are bold enough to even wear a shoe this color but it is the Just Do It Total Orange Air Force One Limited Edition. I don't know how limited these were. I know, I mean, some people out, people out there still got their hands on them, but for me, I feel like this one is just like a small piece of Air Force and Nike history with all the patchwork and then the holographic just do it and the just do it all over the laces i don't know i wore this one a lot when i first got it. i think these came out in 2018 i was still in high school then and i remember uh going to the shoe store and absolutely begging my mother to buy these for me and lo and behold she did i didn't think she was gonna do it so big ups to mom for giving me these and i don't think i could ever part with these next shoe i have to show you guys are these yeezy 350 v2s in the cream colorway i believe that's what they're called uh i actually just got these last late late last year and i absolutely love them i hadn't owned a pair of 350s before this but uh i see why people love them and they are very comfortable it's one of them, uh, easy shoes to just throw on every day and go on and about everywhere in them uh Funny story about these, I actually took a trip to San Diego over the summer and I was on the beach with these and I stepped too far on the beach thinking the tide was not gonna get me. And unfortunately I did get these covered in dirty beach water and sand. So that was fun. But as you can see, they don't, uh, they don't even look dirty. So you can thank Prep for that. They always come in clutch. I, 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 you always, I've always used their products and by no means am I sponsored by them, but I will always and forever highly recommend Crep Protect. So Crep, if y'all watching this, y'all products do work. I love them. I'm using it. I've been using y'all since like 2017. So if y'all want to sponsor your boy, reach out to me. Keeping the easy train going, I got a pair of 750 salts and i have a story to go along with this shoe as well uh i actually won these on accident because i joined the raffle on the adidas app and forgot about it but i want i really wanted to go take it back basically i got the shoes on accident and i decided to give them a try and i actually really love them they are super comfortable even though i, I kind of call these like my alien shoes because just the way they, they look so weird and you definitely turn a lot of heads with these on. And like, I mean, they kind of glowing right now, but like this whole like exoskeleton, like membrane part right here, glows in the dark and glows green. So that's another thing about these shoes that I really like. And then on the bottom, you got like the orange midsole kind of coming through the bottom so that's why i kind of call it like i call these my alien shoes and they are dirty because at one point i was using these as my everyday shoes but now i kind of bring them out when i'm feeling feeling weird or i just want to be like yeah you know today I, today i'm gonna put on the alien shoes so that's uh that's where these stand in my collection y'all let me know if y'all if y'all really like 750s next up we have my all-time favorite jordan 4 really my all-time favorite Jordan ever is these Thunder 4s in the OG yellow, black and yellow colorway. I remember when these got retroed in 
2016 and one of my favorite YouTubers had a pair and since then I've always wanted a pair but you know I never really wanted to spend like the $400 on like the OG 2016 pair but then they retroed them and I got them and I love them and I actually got two pairs when they drop I don't have the other pair with me but I did keep one obviously and I, the big gripe about this one was uh the white jordan sign on the back i mean i don't necessarily agree with it i don't know why they couldn't have just made it yellow or gave us the nike air across the back but then again i wasn't collecting when the big ogs were collecting shoes back then so i'm kind of just really just trying to play the catch-up game and provide an insight to a newer generation sneakerhead yeah this for me is is absolutely timeless and I, I i love this shoe to death next up we have a jordan 11 low the legend blue colorway all white icy blue midsole cannot go wrong with this shoe and this shoe was my favorite for a while and they're actually bringing back the high top version of this this year so if i do get those I will be going to pick those up with these on just to kind of flex a little bit. I, I you, you just can't go wrong with the with the all white, especially in really any Jordan that's in like a, a U, UNC colorway. And even even now when I wear these, I think I got these in 2019. Even now when I wear these, I get a lot of compliments and people really seem to love this one. And this is one I get told that I should wear more, even though I really don't like to because. I've worn them before as you can see the midsole isn't as icy as it could be but i mean that's that's what happens with these soles so you just kind of learn to live with it i could go clean them up and uh get some sole bright which i really need to do but i don't i don't really care about that as long as this part stays icy blue moving right along here y'all already know we have the classic jordan 3 white cement uh, but this is the reimagined version with the Courageous Zones Nike, Nike Air logo on the back. It is that off-white, uh, yellowish kind of color to show its age. And I don't know, this shoe is it's just another timeless classic. Now, I know a lot of people are 50-50 on whether or not they like all the reimagined stuff that they're doing. But personally, for me, I definitely like it. It's, um, it's better than just a normal re-release of the same shoe and I like that Jordan brand is trying to keep it fresh. Also really love the presentation on the box for these. If you guys have ever seen the box, it is a uh, like a really aged looking box and it has like a uh, the old orange Nike hang tag on there. I, I took mine off this pair. All around, I just, I really like this. I don't have too much to say about it. It's just the, the Jordan 3. I'm bringing out another dunk that some of you may not even know what this is but uh right here we have the rainbow trout nike dunk low this shoe is very weird and it automatically stands out amongst any other dunk that i've necessarily seen in recent years like i know the uh the nike sb dunk from like the 2000s was, was a crazy run but this it's not a it's not an SB, although I feel like if it was an SB, it would have got a lot more hype than it actually did. But uh, as you can see on here, and I've done a review on this on my channel, so I won't even go too much in detail, but you got this cool metallic hook and then the pattern of the rainbow trout uh, throughout the upper and then the nice orange and then the little pink on the back. For me, I really like this shoe in my collection because it reminds me when uh, my uncle would take me and my younger brothers to go fishing for rainbow trout. So it's a little fun fact about that. And I did actually, when these released, it came out in a pair of two. There was the rainbow trout version and then there was a sturgeon version. I don't think it was sturgeon. I know it was blue and it was metallic. It was really nice. But if y'all interested in that, y'all can go check out my other video for it. I did uh, give those pair. I did give that second pair to my uncle. He does have the, the quote-unquote matching 
pair to me. Bring me back with another reimagined pair. We have the 2024 reimagined bread Jordan 4. Now this shoe, to my knowledge, was very, very controversial. Um, a lot of people online were saying that they did not like it because they switched the entire upper to leather. Uh, I'm not going to lie myself, I was pretty skeptical when I was seeing the pictures and I originally got a pair, luckily enough I got a pair and I was going to, uh, my original plan was to sell them but after I wore them and I kind of put some fits together, I looked in the mirror and I wore them I think once or twice now kind of fell in love with it and it, it's, it's a hard shoe to really like not love regardless of what the materials are um, would I still put the 2019 OG pair over this yes that's just me and my love for new buck but I think the leather is a nice reimagined touch to these and one that I think people are going to wish that they had got when they came out also did a in-depth kind of review on these on my channel as well if you guys want to go check that out that is on my channel as well another fan favorite right here is the patent leather bread jordan one highs uh this shoe i actually really love and i kind of nicknamed them like my tag dance shoes just because it's just because of the, the patent leather and it's so shiny but I also feel like the shoe would go really well with like if you wanted to try and wear a suit. That's just me though. I mean, you can't go wrong. Like, you know, it's just it, it gives me like the red carpet like classy vibes, and I don't. I really like the tape on this, and plus I just love patent leather. An odd one, but one that I also would say is slept on as well. I think I said a lot of these are slept on, but that's because I, I buy what I like for my collection. And we have the Jordan 1 Blue the Great. That's what it's called. Uh, these, it's like an all suede upper. And to me, these remind me of like a classroom and like the primary colors with like the blocks that we used to play with as kids. That's what this reminds me of. And it's just the material as well. Super soft. You get the little fear hang tag. And then it says uh, limits like fear are often like, are often just an illusion. I really like that but this shoe i don't see this too often i've actually only ever seen maybe like two other people with these on and i think when i originally purchased these on StockX back in 2018 2019 i paid 150 for them i have to find a receipt for that but this is one of the very one of the first few jordans i bought and this is one of the first shoes that got me going into jordans and uh more in depth into sneakers and really this shoe for me was like a pioneer to allow me to find something that i could be passionate about and continue to grow and eventually make into a hobby and then into this is what you're seeing right here next up we got another dunk it's kind of dirty we got another dunk here uh, i do not know the name of these I really don't even remember when I bought them. It's just kind of like a uh, like a light pickup I seen them and I was like, oh wow, I really like that denim kind of look. But even looking up like close to it, I mean, yeah, it is denim, but it's not like the uh, like the acid wash or like the super light blue denim, which I think is really what uh, led me to get these in the first place. But uh, another dunk that you don't see too often kind of reminds me of like the uh, the stitching kind of reminds me like a true religion, the true religion jeans. You guys have ever seen those i don't even know if true religion jeans still in stock all right now i want y'all to tell me how many of y'all actually know what these are or have ever even seen these uh this is this is a major throwback for me but these are the jordan 11 snakeskin lows from i believe 2018 2019 if i do remember correctly i bought these with my first ever paycheck when I got my first job and I wore these to death as you can see by the yellow and that's just from over the years but overall this shoe is still super clean you got the uh, red insole in there these to me were just different and yeah, if you know anything about me you know I love to stand out I love anything that's different anything that's gonna make me be like 
oh wow I couldn't I don't think I could have wore those but I always try and find a way to, to pull it off and really just have fun with what I'm wearing and what I'm buying and that's ultimately for me is what I really enjoy doing and I, I love that I get to express that through these shoes all right on to my foam posit pros this shoe is my most complimented shoe of all time and an absolute neck breaker if you don't like foams I don't know what's wrong with you some people would argue that foams died a long time ago and they really didn't like a lot of the super like fancy designs that we're doing with the foam posit at the time but honestly for me the foam posit will always have a special place in my heart and especially these ones being the first pair that i own and i really want to get some more but this one any anytime i wear them oh my gosh what are those oh my gosh those are so cool and like i mean you look at it and you you, you don't see shoes shaped like this like it looks wavy on your foot and you know just really a conversation starter and that, that's what I love the most about these and it's purple I love purple I love purple my Ravens are purple so maybe you and I when I go to a Ravens game one day I'll have these on time for my favorite dunk at the moment would be these Nike SB Powerpuff Girls this is the Blossom colorway so they had a, a pink and orange one a green and black one and a yellow and blue one and funny story about these I did get these off of sneakers and I paid retail I actually won access to the blossom pair and the buttercup pair which is the green and black ones but Nike decided they were going to be different and do a scratch off win and it was terrible and glitched out very badly so I missed out on that pair but I was luckily able to come away with this pair and I really do like this, even though it might be uncomfortable to wear at times, but I believe that's just because I haven't broken them in all the way. And this is another one that's just really out there, really bright. And you guys probably see it on camera because this, this uh, part, all the like seams on the shoe are reflective, so it'll look rainbow uh, if you shine a light on it. This shoe is also one that I get a lot of compliments on and people are like, oh my gosh, you wear an all pink shoe. I thought that was a girl's shoe and you know there's all types of stuff like that it's, for me that's usually just the usual at this point it's a fan favorite right here next up is my de soul or de soul de soul however you want to say it my my this my de soul 13 i feel like the jordan 13 is something that's really slept on and you just gotta really like jordans to actually appreciate this shoe but this is one that I have come to love and is also super comfy. Everybody loves the cat eye on these. Uh, surprisingly, they haven't yellowed, but I mean, this pair isn't very old to me at least. So I like the suede, I like the white. Uh, I feel like I sh I've showed a lot of yellow shoes that I have. Like I said, I, I collect what I like, so I, I guess that might be the reason why. Next up, I won't spend too much time on these because these are probably the most basic shoe that I have in my current closet but cannot go wrong with a dunk high especially in this very basic white and red colorway it goes with anything you got on red or if you are crazy and like to wear all white throw these on with a splash of color but uh to me nothing the time to shoe nothing too special about it keeping up with the red thing we have the cherry 11s these drop uh, during Christmas like a, a few years back and I actually ended up with like three or four pairs of these so Occasionally if I get my hands on more pairs, I usually genuinely like to cop for myself If I know somebody else that wears my size shout out to all my people that wear 11 and a half um, If you ever need a shoe hit me up. I might you know, you never know I might end up with an extra pair and I I'll throw you I'll throw them to you or with the patent leathers this one I feel like is like a is Jordan 11 really is like a super classy shoe i see people wear these with uh formal attire all the time last but not least we have my nba i think this is the seven i don't know if this was an anniversary pair of my um throwback nba 10 as you can tell they have all the classic logos and another shoe that i get asked about a lot i have no idea where you even find these now i'm glad i got them definitely a different piece and a fun fact about this shoe is so i'm probably i'm only going to show this one because i've showed them before 
but this shoe is the Western Conference shoe, and then the left shoe is, or the right shoe is the Eastern Conference shoe. I really like this one, but I don't take it out of the box very often because where I live, we get four seasons and currently it's summertime. So you only really see action when it's cold outside. And I feel like putting on these clunky Tims. I also will say, I think if you look for these online right now, they go in like the lowest ask, like 400, maybe $300. I did not get these for that amount. I bought these when StockX was first in its very first baby stages, and I got it for like $100 flat. I have to uh, try and find the stockage receipts from back in the day before they started add, adding on a bunch of crazy fees. Like I said before in the beginning of the video, I don't have all the shoes that were in my original video because I've sold some and I chose to leave some out on here because I didn't really think they were showing like some of my uh, older pairs of LeBrons because I don't think people are necessarily like super interested in those and a few other like older pair of Kyrie. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Go ahead, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I read everybody's comment. If y'all got questions, ask me. I'm, I'm always in the comments. I reply back to everybody who has a question or is just giving me feedback. I don't know what my next upload will be. It just depends on what shoe I decide to buy. I'm only doing sneaker reviews and you guys can also suggest shoes for me to buy that you guys would want to see me review on the channel as well. Uh, I'm always taking suggestions if y'all want to get at me on in, in the comments or on any of my socials. Those are all linked down in the description below. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate y'all. I'm going to see y'all on the next one.